Hi guys. Today we are going to discuss about in some circumstances blue prism active accessibility mode or active accessibility layer has become corrupted and you may experience symptoms where the blue prism active accessibility spy mode will not highlight elements where it might be expected to do so so other spy modes such as win32 or html mode may pick up the elements this is the common issue most of the people who are facing active accessibility mode sometimes it is not spying elements whatever the expectation we have and one more thing is active accessibility mode does not display as an option and pressing the alt key cycles between all modes but does not include the a mode this also the some symptoms of active accessibility mode once you you were a mode it is not working you have to change into the some of the registry in system you should consider re-registering your aa library file that is one thing in order to ensure that your registry key is current and valued it means the registry registration of your aa file o l e a c c dot l l so now we can see how we can resolve this issue of a m a accessibility mode issue see the solution which involves to change the registry as discussed earlier so registry you are think about o l e a c c dot l l so you have to back up registry before making any changes that is more important see first you have to locate your oelecc.dll file by doing a search of affected missing your pc once the file has been located and isolated to a single instance then you have to perform to register your registry file then before that you have to do some pre prerequisite to close any blue prism interfaces processor of your studio you have to close on it before that then open a command prompt cmd.exe and administrate uh, run with admin and navigate within that the location of your oelecctl dll usually you have to go with c colon windows system 32 directory then run the following command to re-register the dll file using reg svr32 oelecc.dll so you have to run the following command with the administrator rights in your command prompt for re-registering your OLECC file because of your active accessibility mode is somewhat problem so then you will receive a confirmation message that the DLL registration was successful command prompt as well you will get the message 
if you receive the error the module registered at dll was loaded but the call to dll register server failed with error code this error code then the command prompt which was not started with sufficient privileges if you have privilege then you cannot get this error you must run the command prompt with administrator privilege thanks guys thanks for watching this video we can discuss more about on our next video